Hi everyone. In the past, I made two videos related to Fabric AI tool. First on how you can install Fabric using Terminal and second on how you can integrate Fabric AI with Obsidian. For that integration, you had to install the unofficial Fabric Comdi plugin. Then you need to install the Fabric connector and you also need to add Fabric installed in your system that is accessible by the Terminal. But now there's a better and an easier way and that's what I'm going to show you today. If you were using the Fabric AI tool within the terminal, you had to go through a lot of steps. Like you need to write the command first, yt, then you need to paste the YouTube link, then use the Fabric command, Fabric, Pattern, and use one of the prompts that is available. I'll write, write essay. It would take some time and it would show the response over here, but the response would only be available over here. And if you wanted to save it anywhere else, you had to go through some more steps. But now there's a better way that is you can use this Fabric AI tool directly within Obsidian. You don't need any external dependencies. You don't need to have the uh, Fabric installed in your terminal or in your system. Uh, you don't need this Fabric connector app that we previously needed. It's simple. You just need to install the Comti plugin, configure it and start using it. In this video, that's what we'll learn. We'll learn how you can start using Fabric AI tool or how you can use the functionalities of Fabric AI tool within Obsidian by using this Comte plugin. Before we begin the video, I want to express my sincere thanks to all the people who are supporting me on Patreon. Your support really means a lot and it helps me to keep on creating content like this in the future as well. Thank you for that. Let us begin the video now. Let us go to Obsidian and learn how you can use that. I have improved the start of time for Obsidian by using the Lazy Loader plugin. If you are also having issues with slow startup time, then you can definitely check out the lazy loader plugin. What this plugin does is instead of loading all the plugins on a startup, it will delay that time by certain seconds. I have set the short delay as five and long delay as 10. Let's get back to the video on the miss AI plugin that we'll be using to uh, use the fabric tool, uh, fabric tool like functionality. So you'll need to go to browse over here in the company plugins and search for miss AI. And it is being frequently updated by the developer who developed the unofficial fabric integration as well. Uh, so you just need to click on install from here. Click on enable, go to options. And here you will have the same options that you had with the fabric AI tool. You'll need to configure the same things that you configured when you are configuring fabric by this terminal. So I don't have any of these OpenAI Google API key. I'll just use the Grok API key and add over here. Okay, I think I don't have that Grok API key in my clipboard. I'll go to Grok over here, Grok website. And you can go over the Grok Cloud Developer Console to get the API key. You have the option here. You have this option here as API key. And here you can create an API key. Once you create the API key, you'll need to copy it and store it into safe place because you won't be able to see that API key again. I'll write the API name as mess and I'll copy it, close it and go to Obsidian and add the API key over here. You can also use local models with Mess AI. If you are a little concerned about your data or privacy, then you can definitely try out the local models. For local models, you just need to install Olama. And once you have it running in your system, you just need to add the URL of the local server, which is this URL for most of us. And you will need to refresh the models after the Olama is running. And depending on all the models that you have installed, it will show you the options over here. And you can also use other providers like OpenAI, Google, etc. But I don't have them over here, so I'll just be using Grok. You can also get the API key from Perplexity or Tavili if you want to use them or if you want to use this tool for source as well. Then here you have to add the YouTube API key. YouTube API key is important if you want to do actions related to YouTube such as transcribing the YouTube video, getting summary from the YouTube video, etc. I already have it so I'll just paste it over here. This is very important if you want to do YouTube related actions. Then you have to add custom patterns folder and fabric patterns folder. So I'll just write name as pattern for both these a custom pattern folder and fabric folder and I'll create a new folder over here called patterns so that all of the custom patterns and patterns from fabric are stored in the same directory 
and then you will need to download all of these patterns. In the meantime, we can set a mesh output folder. I'll just name it fabric and create a new folder in my vault called as fabric to store all the outputs from mm. fabric. Great. Let us see if the patterns are downloaded. Okay, they are still being downloaded. Once the patterns are downloaded, it will show you this successfully downloaded notification. And you can go back and see in the patterns folder, you have all of the patterns. These patterns are downloaded from the fabric tools pattern folder. If you go to fabric repository, you will see here are all of the patterns and the plugin, Mesh AI plugin will download all of the patterns from here and store it inside the patterns folder or inside the folder that is specified in Obsidian. Great. Now you can start using Fabric. Let us see if it is any better than using Fabric in the command line or using the unofficial Fabric integration. You can open the Mesh AI window or Mesh AI pane by clicking on this um, brain icon for Mesh AI integration or you can uh, just go to command palette and search for Mesh AI. And it will show you all the options that are available but it does not show the option to open the uh, Mesh AI window. So I'll just click on this. And you can see over here, we have the Mesh AI pane and this will allow us to have the same functionality as the Fabric AI from the command line, but with a user interface and the ability to save our results or save our outputs as nodes within Obsidian. So I'll just choose Grow as model over here. It is still showing only one option over here. Let me go to the plugin and see if there's anything that we can do. Let me try to reopen the Mesh AI by the command. Okay. Mesh AI. Process clipboard. Okay. The Mesh AI is working by the command palette, but I don't know why it is not showing all the options in this pane. Okay. Now it is showing. I don't know why it did not display previously. So this is the Mesh AI UI. Okay. We have the option to select the provider over here and if you click on this pencil icon you can also select all the models that are available for the selected model we are selecting grok as our provider and here you have the option to use one of the models provided by that provider so i choose llama 3.1 70 billion one and here in the input option you have three options note clipboard or tabulate Tabili will be used for source. If you select node, the content from the current node will be used as a context. If you select clipboard, the context will be provided based on your latest clipboard item. And over here, you can select patterns. Let me try it with a node. So I have this node over here called as structure gives you freedom. I'll select the input as node and select pattern as write mini essay. Or I think that's micro essay right micro essay i don't know why it is displaying the patterns twice every pattern is being displayed twice over here maybe that's a bug or something like that now go down and on the output you'll need to write the output file name so i'll write just i'll write the name i'll write the same name over here now submit and let us see if we get a good response or not so let me go back and squeeze this folder and inside the fabric folder we have nothing over here. Now it is working. So it says no input content available. Maybe first we need to select the node. Our cursor needs to be inside the node. Now let us try that again. Click on submit and see if it works or not. Okay. Okay, it is still showing that no input content is available. I don't know why it is showing that because it was previously working with this exact same method. Let us try it with the clipboard and see if it works or not. I'll just copy this content from here and I'll just submit it. Okay, now it is working with the clipboard content, but I don't know why it did not work with the note one. And now you can see we are getting the output. And here is the output that it created on structure gives you freedom, which is inside this fabric folder. So this is one way of using a fabric that is by using either clipboard or note. The next feature that I want to show you today is this uh, pattern stitching feature. 
Previously, you also had the option to stitch patterns together in the fabric tool. By the command, you would just need to add this pipe symbol and you would need to add another pattern. Uh, with this, you just need to enable the pattern stitching and then you will need to add another pattern over here. Let's say I write a tweet. Okay, first it will write a micro essay, then it will create a tweet. The best part about Mesh AI is that it will preserve the output of all of the patterns you stitch together. In the previous one, you would just get the output of the last pattern. If you stitch these two patterns together and you run the fabric command, you would only get the output of the tweet pattern. But now with this Mesh AI plugin, it will show you the response of both the right micro essay pattern as well as tweet pattern. Click on submit over here. And we have stitched two patterns together, right micro essay and tweet. Let us see if we get both of the outputs in our new node. Okay, now we are processing. So here you can see we have the output of the right micro essay first. And below that we have the output of the tweet pattern. This is one great addition to Mesh AI in comparison to the fabric tool. You can save the output of all of the patterns in a single node. It also has a YouTube link detection feature. For that, I think you will need to use the YouTube API key first in order to do YouTube access as I already said. So I'll just go to clipboard and add a content in the clipboard. Okay. Uh, now I can just go to clipboard and okay. I'll just choose the same patterns over here and just click on submit and show you that it will display a YouTube link detection. You see here, YouTube link detected. Do you want to process with the YouTube link? I'll just click and run and it will process the output based on the YouTube link. It will first get the transcript of the YouTube video. Then based on that transcript, it will write a micro essay. Then it will create a tweet. Uh, we already have a node over here. Structure gives you a freedom because we did not change the output file name and you can see structure gives a freedom and we have the one written in bracket. And you can see over here, it has given output for micro essay and both are tweet because we stitched those both patterns together. One another feature with Mesh AI is the workflow feature. Let me go to settings, Mesh AI, and here you can add workflow. Okay, let's say I write YouTube workflow and the provider will be group. And here you will need to write pattern name. I'll write essay. And with pad, I will separate the patterns by using comma. You can write only one pattern over here or you can also write multiple patterns over here. And you will also need to enable the workflow from here. Workflow one, you do broke. And first I use the rate content. Okay. If I'm getting the name of the patterns right, it will work. Currently it is not working with YouTube link. It is the workflow feature is not able to detect the YouTube link. And I have raised the issue on GitHub uh, for this plugin. So maybe in the future it will work. But what you can do is let us copy this. Okay. Copy this content and I will use the clipboard feature over here and go to command palette. And now you can source for the workflow name. We have the YouTube workflow, right? Now you have the option to run workflow from clipboard or active node, I'll run it from clipboard. So it will directly run that workflow without you having to go uh, through the pane and configuring all the other options. Uh, and here you have the output for the workflow and it will be named workflow output. The title of the output will be workflow output. And it has given a response based on our clipboard input. So we have the output of both the patterns, rate content pattern and extract wisdom pattern. This is another feature that you might want to take a look at. That is workflow feature. As I already said, it is not currently working with YouTube link detection, but maybe in the future updates, this feature will work as well. So this is all about the Mesh AI plugin. Mesh AI plugin allows you to have the functionality of Fabric AI tool right within Obsidian without any external dependencies like Fabric Connector tool or Fabric command line tool as well. So this is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel because I'll be coming with some cool Obsidian related content in the future as well. Thank you for watching. Have a great time. Bye.